Hi all, it's Nico Rolf again and uh, in this tutorial I'd like to present uh, to you how to create custom CVG files and uh, to change their parameters uh, for instance their fill and outline colors. The program I'm using now is uh, Inkscape. Uh, it's a, a very basic program, it's uh, free and uh, you can download it uh, from the, its official site uh, www.inkscape.org uh, I think or if it if I'm mistaken you can just google it and uh, the site will show up so the task for uh, for today is to create a save again Inkscape save it and then uh, to be able to change its parameters in QGIS so I will now load uh, uh, any CVG file from uh, its uh, library for instance uh, sport we go to there is no sport snooker <laughs> interesting uh, I will just open it yes uh, you can see what uh, this uh, CVG represents <coughs> now let's say we want to change uh, some of its uh, geometry so now I will freely delete these dots here like this even more and uh, I highly recommend to you to use uh, grids for much easier geometry building uh, this can be done by going to file uh, file file properties uh, document properties in english uh, the shortcut is control plus shift plus d key i will now just press that and uh, as we can see the doc document size is uh, 580 pixels by the same number uh, I recommend to you not to change that size because uh, for every 7 game QGIS you will need a different scale factor so just preserve that values but uh, you shall go to grids and uh, use uh, rectangular grid create a new one Enable shall be checked, uh, visible too, and uh, snap also, that's why we use it in the first place. Uh, we use uh, the distances uh, between uh, the vectors in the hex and uh, y axis, um, shall be 10 centimeters or 10 pixels if that's the measuring unit you're using in your document. And uh, just snap uh, always snap or just uh, decrease that a little bit if you need uh, a more precise uh, geometric building okay let's close that and just move it to be in the center of the frame and now I will just create uh, a new circle which will simply overlap existing geometry a uh, small tip here uh, use layers as uh, in AutoCAD and ArcCAD uh, here also layers are available, available. You can uh, go to them by clicking uh, Ctrl plus Shift plus L key. They show up. Uh, I haven't created any, so with the plus sign you will create a new layer. The name of it. I will give it uh, just... Uh, let's say Snooker Elements. Elements. I add that. Another element uh, will be framing, which will represent the circle I just created. It shall be below uh, the other layer, 
so that the circle doesn't uh, hide off uh, the other elements. Now I select the circle, it's all white. Uh, I will make it more visible by giving it a black outline color. This can be done by clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus F key. Now you can see um, fill and outline properties. The fill will be white as it is now, but the outline I will choose just the black color and to give it more outline width. Uh, now it's 5, I will just adjust it to 10. Uh, 580 is okay. Now it fills uh, the document exactly, however, I need to change uh, the starting position of the circle and the ending one. Uh, so for the starting point I give 0 and by the Y axis 0. So now it fills the document completely, that's what I needed in the first place. And uh, I switch it to the layer framing. You go to uh, right click and uh, um, move to layer and uh, just select the layer framing. You hide the layer and then you select everything else and move that to the layer snooker elements. And now if I show all layers you can see that it uh, uh, everything uh, is uh, viewed correctly. The circle doesn't uh, hide my geometry below it. And now we are ready for exporting. This will be the, our final CVG. So, just click uh, File, Save As. And we save it uh, as a new symbol. I will give it some <laughs> recognizable name. Snooker table. Save that. Go to layer, create layer, new temporary scratch layer. Uh, give it, it, it shall be a point. Layer name shall be testing. Okay. And now create some elements on the screen. Go to symbology by double clicking the layer's name and uh, just click uh, save again marker. Go to where wherever you saved the file. In my case, it is uh, here, snooker table. And as you can see, fill doesn't uh, actually do me any good. Since whenever I change the fill, it changes only the fill of the balls here, but uh, not the fill of the circle. That's not what I intended. So you can see that we need some further uh, work in with the code. And basically whenever you create uh, your own symbol you will need to modify its code to make it uh, just uh, correctable in QGIS. So now I will just go to I'm going to save the symbology to be able to see it on the screen. This is the basic one. And now we shall find the original file. Uh, go to C or OS uh, Geo 4W64 if you're on Windows 7 and uh, use a 64 bit uh, operating system. Apps, QGIS, save again and uh, wherever you save the file, in my case I'm looking for snooker table. Right click and edit with notepad++ 
uh, for any other text program uh, I will show you the link uh, in the description so that you can download and install Notepad++ You just open it and uh, yes, uh, here you can see the code of the whole file. Uh, the layers are actually for your convenience because uh, uh, they are, uh, before you create an element, uh, the program has to switch between the layers and you will uh, easily distingu distinguish between the elements which uh, are being created. So as you can see, uh, layer framing is the circle which I used for the outline so its view is white uh, this is the code for white you shall remember it because uh, it is quite often used but the stroke I want it to be modifiable so I shall insert the following P -R -A, -A, -R a M bracket outline and space that will enable me to modify it uh, in QGIS so that whenever I change the outline color it will change the circles outline outline width I will just uh, modify that too to make it um, changeable you write the same P A R A M bracket outline dash width and space like that now uh, for the as for the elements uh, everything will be colored in uh, um, the fill color I will not use the, any other so we don't need uh, outline here we delete that We don't need outline here. Or just change that to fill actually. So that uh, with one parameter you change everything uh, as uh, far as the element is concerned. So you insert that here. You insert that here. You change this few also this few and this few uh, and outline width shall not uh, change the geometry inside the circle I will just delete that it uh, will be a constant now just like that And uh, as far as I can see, we are finished. Save the file by clicking uh, Ctrl plus S and close Notepad. Now, if you go to QGIS, you will see a quite different result. Now, with fill, we change the color of the balls and the triangle inside. So, if I set red, you will see that uh, it all changed to red. That's how I wanted it. And with the uh, border outline color, we change the outline of the circle. So I'll skip blue and increase the border width. We can see that the border is blue. So it is in, uh, changed independently from the uh, inside geometry. You can change the width too. I can make it big width or smaller. So, thanks for watching. This was the tutorial of how to create a custom Inkscape files and uh, use them in QGIS.